So in this video, I'm going to walk you through the WES evaluation and the whole drama that surrounds it with including all the questions and I'll answer each and everything properly in this video. So make sure to watch it till the end. All your doubts will be cleared by me. Don't worry about it. So first things first, what is WES? WES stands for World Education Services. It's just a third party which the universities trust and believe that it is completely verified. So what happens is if you send your transcripts to the universities, they don't trust it directly. They want it to be verified by the third party that is WES. So what you do is you say you send your transcript to WES. The WES verifies your transcript. And if you end up sending that WES transcript to the university, that's when they realize that it's verified and then only they start checking it. So that's the whole process. Only some universities require WS evaluation, not all of them, because it's an expensive matter. So it's something that you should give a thought to. So don't just get your WS evaluation done haphazardly. First, make a list of the universities that you want to apply to. Now, even if one of them requires WS evaluation, you will have to get it done. Now, what happens in WS evaluation? First, when you fill all your information, according to, for example, you're going for graduate admissions. There are two services available over there, which are called a WES document by document evaluation and WES course by course evaluation. So some universities only require document by document evaluation and, and uh, some of them require course by course evaluation. Now document by document evaluation, think of it as a basic version of course by course evaluation. Now. What happens in this document by document evaluation? They just verify your transcript document and that's it. And that's what happens in the document by document evaluation. That's it with this. And there are two categories in the document by document evaluation. Which pack do you want to choose? They have two packs, WES ICAP and WES basic. So what happens is if you go for the ICAP version, which is the premium version, which costs around $145 for document by document evaluation and $100 for the basic one. Now I recommend the ICAP one because what happens is if you go for the ICAP, this they store your transcript with them. And if you have to send it to universities later, you can just order online on WES website that I want to send this transcript to this university and they will only post it to that university. But in the basic version, uh, they only send you a small uh, copy of uh, your WS report and then you have to take care of sending the WS reports to other universities. Most of the universities are like we want sealed envelopes from WES so you will have to order a sealed envelope from the WES that costs around five dollars and again the postal charges. Now again you have to post everything from your country to US uh, sending your transcript over there. So that is a costly affair. So what I'll recommend you to do is spend that extra $45. It's for the best. They will score store the transcript with them. And later you can just order on the website that send this transcript to this particular university. And that's it. You don't have to go through the hassle of getting the transcript from the university, the sealed envelope, and then sending it to the other university. Because if you are applying to more than one university, it will turn into an expensive matter soon. I got the ICP version. That's why I'm, I'll recommend that you do the same. Now, this is the document by document evaluation. Some universities are asking for course by course evaluation. What happens in that? In course by course evaluation, they take up your transcript. They see each and everything, your courses, your grades, and the credits that are assigned for the, those courses. And they give you WES grades according to that. For example, I got the course by course evaluation done because Carnegie Mellon asked me to do course by course evaluation. So I had to get it done. I couldn't do the document by document evaluation. Course by course evaluation is generally expensive. So what happened was they evaluated all my courses, my grades, my credits, and they mapped it to a 4.2 American scale GPA. Okay. So what happened was my GPA was 8.45 out of a 10 that was on a 1 to 0 to 10 scale. And now it was mapped down to 4.0 scale and I got a 3.98 out of 4 in my WS evaluation. This is one brilliant thing that happens, okay? I'll tell you the whole thing how WES grades you and all. So as you can see on the screen right now, this is the WES grading scale. As you can see, A star will give you A, A will give you A, B will give you A and C will give you B. So WES has only 4 grades, A, B, C and F. 
and this is how they grade you so on the 10 scale uh, like if you got 10 in that subject a perfect 10 you get an a if you get 9 you get an a if you get 8 you get an a and if you fall below 8 that is if you go to 7 then you start getting b and other grades so this is how wes functions and it's really easy to get a high gpa in wes so that's why i got a 3.98 and i was like oh my god that was so amazing so yeah that's what happens now again course by course evaluation can be done in two forms wes ic ap and the wes basic again i'll recommend that you get the ic ap done so that if you're planning to send to more than one university your wes evaluation you can easily send it to them by just going online and uh, on the website portal ordering uh, uh, postal to that particular university that will only cost you around seven dollars that's what they charge if you want to send to other other universities and that's better because you don't want to go through the whole hassle of calling the transcript and then sending it yourself okay so get that icap version done and the icap course by course evaluation costs two zero five dollars it's pretty expensive and the basic uh, costs 160 dollars but still i think the icap version is always the worth it because they are storing your transcript for later too if you want to apply in the future that's what i believe now after you pay the money to wes they'll be assigning you a wes reference number this is what you need before you send your transcripts to WES. So WES identifies you using that WES reference number. So what happens is when you post your document to WES, that is they will ask for your transcripts and other things. And uh, you have to send those documents in a sealed envelope and all. So WES will ask you for the official documents. In my case, they asked me for my transcript. You have to send the transcript as it is. Do not open your transcript. Send the sealed transcript or they won't accept it. Now, a new rule came out on 1st December 2018. According to that rule, you yourself cannot post that transcript. It has to directly come from the university. That means it needs to be mailed from the university itself, proper postal by university. Now, 90% of the universities in India will not have that service. Even my university did not have that service. So in this case, what you should do is, there are two parts in the envelope that you're trying to post, right? From and to. So in the from part, what you can do is write your college's name and the college's address and the university's phone number, if there is any, or you can even write your phone number, it's totally okay. Okay, do not mention your name anywhere and do not let them know that it came from you directly, okay? Just keep them under the impression that it came from the university and that'll be fine. They will be accepting your documents because if you write your name in the from part, they will reject the documents immediately because they want it to come from the university. But if the university does not have that service, you cannot do anything about it. Just follow the process that I told you in the from part, just put your university's name and address and you will be fine. Okay. And don't forget to mention your WES reference number on the envelope that you're going to post. All right. That is also really important because that's how WES identifies you. So that's it with this video, guys. I hope your doubts were cleared with this video and I hope it helped you. And that's it. So you can leave your questions down on my Instagram and uh, you can also put your questions in the comments and I'll be more than happy to answer them. So go ahead. All the best for your journey. I wish you all the luck in the world and that's it. I'll see you in another video.